Okay, here's today's question. Are you positive or negative? I mean, generally. Um, it's a good question because um, take some sort of random group, say a group of 10 people, and someone presents a piece of information. Uh, um, it's going to rain this weekend. Somebody in the group will be saying to themselves or maybe to the group, oh no, I had planned something, I wanted to go out, my weekend's going to be ruined. Somebody else in the group will be saying, oh great, I can finally finish that book I've been trying to read. And there'll be other opinions that are somewhere in the middle, but generally distributed along that kind of positive and negative aspect. So here's the question, where are you? And you can answer that by paying attention to the next time someone presents you with some information and just see if your own response is positive or negative. If it's positive, that's fine. If it's negative, it's good to know that because more things come out of being positive than being negative. So if that happens, if you take a look inside and find you really are on the negative side of things, let me suggest this little challenge. When that happens and you identify that, that you've had this negative reaction to whatever it is, Challenge yourself to find five positive things about that thing. Because certainly there are some positive things, and maybe you're just uh, shut in your own perspective and your own reflexes and your own baggage that's giving you that attitude. That will help you see things clearly. And maybe it's good, uh, maybe it's negative, um, but you don't know unless you could examine it clearly. This helps get you out of the way. It helps get your baggage and your reflexes and your history uh, away from examining what it is that you want to look at and see clearly. And there's one thing um, I know for sure, and I've said this before, when you change the way you see things, the things you see change. If you enjoyed this video, join us for some more. Just click the subscribe button.